Welcome to Chromeillusion.com. I'm Stephen Burns, and we're going to further discuss the concept of uh, organizing our images um, in various ways because we've already initially um, created folders that had an initial organizational title for each one. In this, in this example, peers or scenics or sunsets. Yours, once again, may be something by the names of your clients and, of course, subfolders that will be organized by the dates of your photo shoot or your job shoot. Um, again, it's going to, your organization is going to be different from mine, but it's going to reflect your way of doing things. Now, but each of our images may have several different possible criteria. How do we further organize that criteria? Now, let me, we're going to get into collections, all right? So before I do that, I want to show you a little bit of something here. On the thumbnails, you're going to notice some, some title headings, um, dimensions, the, um, actually the format, file format is listed here. And if I kind of bring up the thumbnail just a little bit, we can see that a little bit closer. This one, this one, for example, is a Clouds 58 at the 3504 by 2336 dimensions. It's a CR2 file. On the bottom, we have a rating system. So if we work clients, we can, re we can rate our images by giving it from one all the way to five. So it's, 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 it's totally up to you. We can also give it a rating of color. So red, we can give it green. We can also give it a blue or so forth or even none at all. So uh, let's, let's talk about by default, this information is not listed on your thumbnail. Take your mouse and place it below this title. So it's this empty area right down in here. And this is important. If I right click in this empty area, actually right above your, your thumbnail image, you go down toward the bottom, you'll see view options. It's going off the screen on my view here, but you'll get to see the view options dialog box will come up. Right over here, I have what's called expanded cells are viewing. Now, by default, you have compact cells. Let's click it to see what happens. And it goes smaller, and you don't always have the title of your images here. So we, we drop it down and select expanded veil, expanded cells, which is my recommendation. And right down here are the actual nomenclature that you're actually going to place in these areas. This is one, two, three, four locations here. And under the expanded cells extras, we can designate what we want. We can click it and we can add any of the metadata that you choose to be showing here. I prefer the file name. Okay. I also prefer the crop dimensions here. I have um, an index number. Maybe I'll, I'll scroll down here and I'll make I may actually select ISO rating here. Okay, and immediately the ISO rating shows up. And then right below it, I'll have the actual file format, which is a CR2. It's a raw format. So that, those are the uh, the four uh, criteria that I like to have listed on my thumbnail. Okay, so go through here, take a look at all of this. Exp uh, you know, you know, so you can understand what it does. If you go to loop view, um, this is when you're showing you, you double click on your single image and it shows up in a loop view as one single image. And it actually allows you to select what criteria that you would like to be listed on top of that. So again, uh, go through these and, and decide which ones you like to be shown and, and, you know, and, and, and place them accordingly. So I'm going to go back to grid view by clicking on the grid view and I'm going to go ahead and click the X here. Now once again, where you click to go to that view options make a difference. For example, right up here where it says the clouds as well as your dimensions, if you right click here, it's going to give you a whole other set of options. This will actually allow you to choose what you want to show up here. So file name or file name base, I'll go ahead and do the file base name and it gives it the clouds uh, 0058 for this one. If I right click again, I can give it a rating, which is you know, currently it's just, which is five. I can decide to show uh, the criteria in terms of um, megapixels or copyright, um, you know, all of that. I can go to exposure and ISO, which is right up in here. So as you can see, there's my exposure for my shutter speed and my f-stops as well as my ISO name. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to give it the file name and there it is okay so that's what I choose and you again you come on through and take a look at this let's go ahead and make the thumbnail smaller and let's talk about um, organizing your images further in terms of collections what collections are are folders that allows you to further organize your work so that you don't have to come back to your your base 
um, fo folders or your organize, organized folders to search for your Im images. Maybe there's a few different images that you're going to work with on a regular basis. So instead of going into a search, you have them listed right down here under collections. For example, let's go on up here and let's select the peers. And there may be a particular peer, or a couple of different peers that I'm going to want to work with. I have one that's vertical. I have another one that's horizontal. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to select one more right down here. I'm thinking that, no, well, this one is which is going toward the center. Maybe, maybe kind of cool to work with. And I don't want to come back here looking for it again. So I'm going to place it down in a collection. So I'm going to go right down here next to the collections. Hit the little plus symbol. Create the collections. And because I have these selected ahead of time, I'm going to include the selected photos. So um, I'm going to call this one um, Peer um, Final Choices. Okay, and you can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to click create. I'm not going to say make new virtual copies. I don't want to duplicate them or duplicate, uh, make duplicates of these images. I just want to organize them into the collection. So click create, and there they are. Peer final choices. Let's go get some other ones. And matter of fact, let's create um, one for sunsets. There may be a, a few different sunsets that I'm going to want to work on. So hit the plus create the collection this time because I don't have the sunsets chosen I'm going to unselect the include selected photos and I'm going to call this one sunset choices click create and there it is nothing is inside there's a zero right next to it and let's go back on up to my uh, folder section Right up in here, and let's go find sunset. So there's a scenic. Anything in there? Nope, no sunsets in there. But we we can we can view all these. Actually, we can do it this way too. We can select on the root folder and actually scroll down and find the sunsets that we want. Or I could go and actually click directly on the sunsets folder. All right, so I, let's do that as well. I can click directly on the sunsets folder. I'm gonna say, okay, I want that one. And I'm going to want to choose a couple others. We have one here, have something there with a different cloud. How about something with a little more diffused atmosphere? That's what I want to use. Simply put the mouse on the image. Make sure that your folder is showing under the collections, which is the sunset choices. Click and hold and drag it on over and release. And immediately it shows my four choices here. If I click on the word on, on sunset choices, it shows them right there. Of course, I can rate these as well, and uh, and of course, I could create another folder for my top ratings. So, as an example, I'm going to go to the root of my folder one, my photo one, and I'm going to look at this. I'm going to say, you know, there are some of these in this in this entire category that I really really like. I'm going to say I like this one here, and I'm going to click the five right below. And if I'm going to I'm going to make this a little bit larger so that you can see what they look like at the bottom of the thumbnail you'll see a, a rating system in terms of stars right here. I can go four stars or three stars or two stars or one star. I'm going to want five stars for this one. I'm going to go over here to, to a texture. Let's go ahead and, and, and bring these a little bit smaller so I can see a little bit better. And I'm going to say, okay, oh, I really like this one here. Or how, how about this one right over here? I'm going to go ahead. Okay, I want that to be a five star. And I have some pretty... Um, so I think of some pretty cloud shots in here. Well, here's one of a, of a I don't have very many birds in my, in my portfolio. So I say, okay, get out of five stars. Well, I'm going to want to work on that one. And here's a nice shot of the clouds here. And uh, if I double click on it, it goes to my loop view. I can see it. And if I click once, it actually zooms it to 100% to a one-to-one -one ratio. So I can see what it looks like at one-to-one. -one. Right over here, your navigator is where we're going to navigate through your image we could go to three to one to make it even smaller. And I have other options if I go to the drop down menus here. But we'll go to our our or we can fill the screen right about here. Okay. But I want to go back to my grid view. I get the G key for grid or click on the grid view right about there. And I will say, okay, I want that to be a five star as well. So I'm gonna go select a couple. Oh, I love these clouds right here. A five star. And I love the I love this scenery right here. We'll give that a five star. Now I'm gonna make a collections folder. Alright, and how about if I click this one here and I'm gonna call this one my best 
images. All right, and I will click create. Now over here, I have I have the I have the the root folder photo one, and I have some five star images in here. Now instead of going and look for them, I'm going to go right over here to what's called the smart collections. And automatically, what smart collections is 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 actually pulling criteria from your metadata. And in this particular case, it says, here's my rating system. You got five stars, seven images with five stars within the root of photo one. So select the five stars. There they are. And then all I need to do is command A or control A, which is select all, click and drag them on over to my what? On over to my final choices. And um, actually, I think there's another folder in here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll this down a little bit more. And my best images is what I, what I really want to put it inside. So my best images, and there they are. They're listed there. Okay. So um, go ahead, utilize your collections to create, you know, virtual folders. These are also virtual images to further help you get organized with images that you're going to access on a regular basis or something that has a special name for yourself. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of an idea how to, how to um, create collections and organize your photos and collections. I hope this has been helpful. I'm Stephen Burns and we'll be back to talk about organizing your work by applying keywords.